All right, guys, let's cook some tacos. All right, so it's Connery. Uh, this is kind of a part two of what we did yesterday. Uh, we went out and caught a bunch of hybrids. And well, hybrids and white bass, but though that is actually the meat that was from it. And I already have some uh, some food prepared already. Well, not food, but uh, ingredients pre-prepared. Show you guys what I do. You know, try to keep things simple. And what I'll be making is fish tacos. I love it this way. I've had it many ways, and this is uh, this is the best way I've uh, found out, or well, the best way I like it. It's kind of a sweet, it's a hot sweet type of taco, so you're not supposed to serve it cold or nothing like that. So it's best if it's served like uh, fresh off the grill type of deal. Not like grill, but skillet or whatever you might be using. Um, so, let's see. So I'm not a I'm not a chef for by occupation, but I can cook to save my life, right? I actually cook all the time. Um, so basically, what we're doing today is we got tacos, and we keep the ingredients pretty simple. This is the traditional Asian ingredients. Uh, let's throw in a little bit of something else. Just kind of the pantry area. Keep things fairly easy, fairly simple. We're gonna be using salt. Uh, a little bit of a panda oyster sauce, black pepper, and uh, lemon pepper. Well, actually, no black pepper since you got lemon pepper already. So we'll do that. So basically, these three. Pick these up. Let's go. Uh, this is the big. This is the hybrid. And. To fillet a fish, uh, I'm not going to demonstrate it. It's kind of sloppy. I'm working the camera, but um, just kind of for hybrids, you want to get rid of this bloodline right here. So you're going to have to cut that out. Cut it into maybe like one inch sections, one inch chunks, and just start pan frying them. And then um, uh, when they're done, they basically crumble. Um, the meat doesn't hold very well, so that's how you know it's, uh, it's pretty much done. So let me get that done, and we will get to cooking. All right, so I'll do this one just to show everybody, but there's a line of bones. And, of course, you can find this, the proper way of doing this on YouTube. There's a line of bones right down the line, so you have to find that line of bone and cut it out as well because nobody wants to eat bones in the tacos. So, basically, you have to cut like that and on the little on the wasteful side, but that's what it is. You have to cut this out, kind of cut it at an angle. And this basically gets tossed out. So you're done there. So just kind of chunk it up. Cut enough to feed you and the family or whatnot. And then I have a, I have a pretty good sized family. So I do, I probably do all the hybrids from yesterday. But this is a quick demo for everybody so everybody can see what I'm doing. There you go. So get that, and we're ready to go into the pan. All right. So basically, uh, maybe the oil in the pan. Make sure it's pretty hot. It's popping. It's pretty hot. And then after that, you just want to put in your fish. So fish goes in. It's best if you do uh, small portions at a time, because like I said, you want to serve it hot. And when you serve it hot. And you mix it with the grapes in a bit, it'll kind of cook the grapes in a way and make it taste even better. So, you got that. I like that a lot. And the 
How do you get my uh, my stuff? So anywho, anyhow, uh, fish is ready. Got the salsa. And here's the crazy part. Uh, this is something I don't see everywhere. And this is grapes. You get the purple grapes. What you want to do is do uh, basically start off with the fish. You know, scoop them right out of the pan while they're still hot. That's the best way to do it. While they are still hot. Kind of like that. Okay. So that was one fillet. Like I said, it's best if you do it one fillet at a time. So if you got friends or fam family over, you know, do one at a time. If you cook a giant batch, it just seems like the meat, once it hits the tortillas, uh, if it's cold, it's not going to taste as good. So you basically just do that. Just pile it up because, you know, we're shy. Pile it up. Pile it up. And, uh, mm, can't wait to eat this. All right, after that, you want to put, you want to put your red, red grapes, red grapes. Okay, so that's something that, like I said, it's kind of a unique deal. No one does. You can cut them up or you can go, you know, whole. I like them cut up, but since I only have two hands, bam, so it's like that. So it's like that. I know it looks weird, but pro I promise it tastes great. And then you want to scoop up some salsa. You can use salsa, you can use pico de gallo. Just take your pick. That's what I like to do. A little bit of salsa up in there. And I didn't I don't have any cilantro, but if I had cilantro, I'd put cilantro in here too. Just pack it up like that. Like this ain't your traditional taco bell taco, okay guys? This stuff is good, man. I mean, this is some some stuff that I think maybe you'd have to get from like some high-end store, you know, high-end restaurant, and maybe they won't even have it. So basically, you're done, you know, just like that. Okay, so how does that look? Huh? That look good to you? All right, and to top it off, you know, I get some flack for this, but I do like mayonnaise on my tacos. A little shot of that. A shot like that pretty much done and like I said you gotta eat it while it's hot you gotta eat it while it's hot so mm, wrap one up right now and it's still pretty hot right now let me, let me get over the other hand I think I'm better with the other hand on eating but zoom back out a little bit Boom. this is kind of my outdoor uh, cooking area all the Asian home people will understand <laughs> cooking areas but anyhow just like that eat on camera um mm. mm. that's good that's so good Let's look at this look what's in it mm. That's some good stuff. This is good with catfish. It's good with all fish, actually. Some good stuff. Mmm. 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 Mmm.
Oh yeah, that's good. All right, so I'm about to eat this last one right here. Turn the camera around for you guys so you can see me. But yeah, it's a very simple way to cook it. I really like to cook it this way, but it's a lot of work because if you have to go and catch the fish, uh, fillet the fish, and collect all these other ingredients, it's uh, it's a lot harder to do. It's a lot more ingredients than you do traditional, you know, just fish fry. But you know, with that being said, this is much more rewarding too. It does taste a lot better. Uh, I think we also have another video on our channel that. Uh, I think I steam some fish. That's that's probably the second best way, taste-wise, I like to do it. But both of these are uh, the hardest ways to do it. So, hope you guys enjoy. Hope that gives you guys uh, some idea on other ways to cook your catch. And um, if you guys like uh, what you see, uh, give me a sub. Give me a like. Share it with a friend. I mean, this is definitely a recipe that I didn't... At first, people said fish taco. I didn't think it was going to be good. And I've had a couple fish tacos before and they weren't that great. But if you do it this way, cook it this fast, serve it this good, I don't think anybody's not gonna not gonna like it. So thanks for watching guys.